last thing I want to talk about that's very important is when you use corrections, a lot of times you can suppress behavior, but it doesn't mean you're dealing with the underlying problem. So what I want to talk about is aggression. When a dog growls, the dog is giving you a warning. He's saying, back up. Don't continue to pursue me because I will bite. And what happens with a lot of choke collars and pinch collars is that the trainer will give the dog a correction for growling. So what does the dog learn? The dog learns to stop growling. And when the dog doesn't growl at us, now we don't have any warning. So a quick story about a dog I worked with a couple of years back. A trainer was called in before I was, and every time this dog growled, the trainer gave him a harsh correction, actually hung the dog. So the dog was off the ground, and the trainer cut off the dog's air supply. Every time the, the dog growled, this is what the trainer did. Cut off the air supply. Cut off the air supply. So I was called in a couple of days later to help this dog, and what happened when I took the leash, the dog immediately went from standing there to attacking me. Because as soon as I took the leash, the dog thought I was going to do the same thing. The dog thought I was going to hang him. So the dog gave me no warning. And it would have seemed like the dog attacked me for no reason. But the dog had every reason in the world to attack me. He thought that I was going to do the same thing. And in the dog's mind, he probably thought I was there to kill him. Because the last guy was cutting off the dog's air supply. So all he did was suppress some important behaviors, but it didn't deal with the underlying problem, which was the dog had some anger issues. <laughs> and uh, that's why you have to be careful when you're using negative reinforcement, because if you think you're dealing with the behavior, a lot of times you're just suppressing it, and it's going to come out in other places. So if a dog has a barking problem, and we start to give the dog a zap with the electronic collar every time the dog barks, it may stop the barking, but the behavior may resurface someplace else. Now the dog has, if, if you haven't dealt with the underlying reason, okay? If it's just vocal behavior, it's no big deal. But if there's a reason the dog's barking and you're suppressing it, so the behavior may become out somewhere else. Dog may start digging, may start chewing. A lot of times you see it in destructive behavior. So the thing we have to remember and understand when we're training a dog is that we have to deal with the underlying problem. We can't just put a choke collar, an electronic collar, a, pr a prong collar on it and just correct it until it stops. We have to deal with the underlying problem. Now, at this point, you may be thinking, this guy is one of those left-wing, weenie, clicker training, never uses punishment, thinks that the dog should never be exposed to any kind of negative thing in its life. And that's not true. I absolutely use punishment. Punishment can be a very effective form of changing behavior. It's a very effective way of changing behavior. And in this next clip, I'm going to show you how I use punishment. I'm going to explain it a little bit, but there are some things you have to understand before you use punishment because you want to make sure you're doing it correctly.